Next up, Cam Ward. Cam Ward made all our lists. Uh, Mike and Rick had him eighth. I had him fifth. I'm, I'm a big Cam Ward guy. Uh, Mike, I'll let you start. Cam Ward transferred from Incarnate Word. I can never remember the name of the school he was at initially. Um, and then he went to Washington State for a few years, and now he's at the U. What are your thoughts on Cam Ward? I think if we flipped Cam Ward situation with – uh, Jalen Milrow situation last year, we would flip the rankings or you guys would flip the ranks. I, I just think that he had not much around him at Washington state, but it has similar high end rushing ability, high end arm talent, off platform arm talent. He, he made some just awesome throws on tape from, you know, any platform he wants to can really sling it as some gunslingeriness to him. He'll put the ball in harm's way, but he's also going to attack down the field pretty consistently. So, Similar strengths and weaknesses where I need to see him clean up his footwork. He gets too lackadaisical in the pocket. He holds onto the ball, trying to create for deal life. He'll take some bad sacks, but he did not have anything to really work with. You know, who, what offensive talent were we talking about from Washington State last year in the NFL draft? There just wasn't any. So I, I'm really excited to see what he can do at Miami because it's going to be a night and day sort of you know, supporting cast there, the situation around him is going to be a lot, lot better. So what he does with that, and obviously maybe with some more coaching, because he came from a tiny town in Texas, played, I think, like five-man or whatever ball it is there. We didn't even play full high school football. Ghost Incarnate Word, then Washington State. Like, if he can – I just think the town is there that this guy really could be the limit for this guy. Rick, uh, I love the way he plays off-platform. He can throw with different arm angles. He can throw with anticipation. He can win outside the pocket. Uh, I think sometimes he tries to do too much, but I'm with Mike. I, I love Cam Ward, and I think if we were talking about a guy to make a, a Jaden Daniels-type push with a big season into the first round, it could be Cam Ward. What do you think about him? Uh, I don't think he'll make that big a push. I agree with all the strengths and weaknesses. I don't like some of the decision-making, though. I think he puts the ball up in harm's way when he doesn't have to. Uh, again, another guy that relies on his unique athletic ability. Um, but I do think it'll be interesting to see if he can take that next leap forward uh, down at Miami. Uh, anxious to see him. But I have him right now in the fourth, fifth round range. And I'll give you just to expedite this process. Your, uh, my comp, Tyrod Taylor. Uh, Producer Harry, I'm going to need you to come on the show for a second here. Can you tell Rick who my comp was for Cam Ward? Uh, I regretfully inform you that it was also Tyrod Taylor. Oh, God, really? Come up with your own ideas. <laughs> uh, Producer Harry can also attest that I turned my homework in first. Um, I had him as a, a late second, early third round guy, but again, I'm doing the Rick Optimism Summer viewpoint on Cam Ward. Uh, Mike, what do you got for Cam? Yeah, I had Dorian Thompson Robinson. I didn't have anyone I felt great about, but probably more of a day three at the moment. But in terms of the tools that he has versus the other day three guys, I'd probably put him right at the top of that. 